Coming up on Hashtag That. The Quinnipiac alumni came back for the weekend. And these two sports guys are put to the entertainment test. All that and more from Hamden to Hollywood. We are your source for Quinnipiac, New Quinnipiac Entertainment News. You don't say Hollywood, we are your source for entertainment news. Welcome to Hashtag That. I am John Surratt. And I'm Connor Olthorne. And we are very excited that Hashtag is letting us sports buys try entertainment for the day. That is right, Connor. We have a ton to talk about, so let's jump right into it. Quinnipiac alumni went back to school this weekend and participated in all kinds of reunion activities, including former lacrosse, soccer, and baseball players playing in alumni games. Reunions for the 5th, 10th, 25th, and 50th classes. More alumni attended tailgates and prep rallies before the men's ice hockey game, and it was all started by an alumni golf championship at the New Haven Country Club. And the African and Caribbean Student Unions hosted a jollof off this past week. Students were able to bring in traditional dishes from their homes and taste test the night away. Dishes included Jamaican jerk chicken, Trinidadian curry chicken, and more students were able to vote on their favorite dishes, and the winner in each category of food won a generous certificate. This Saturday was, was a holiday called the Sweetest Day. The point of this holiday is to go up to as many of your friends as possible, give them a piece of candy, and make them smile. Some of our hashtaggers celebrated this wholesome day by doing just that. Check it out. Oh. Hey, hashtag. hashtag to the Sweetest Day celebrated on Saturday, October 19th. And it's generally celebrated in the Midwestern and Northeastern United States. It's a day where you can spread kindness and charity to all your friends and family and people you know. And we at Hashtag decided to take to this holiday and be extra sweet to our friends all week, and we caught some of their reactions on camera. I love you and I care about you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I love you and I care about you. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I love you and I appreciate you. Wait, what? <laughs> That's the score. I love you and I appreciate you. You're so cute. Alicia, I love you and I care about you. Oh. Hi. Hi. I appreciate Hi. you. Uh, oh, thank you. Bye. Hi. Hi. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you don't want to get what I want. Hi. I appreciate you. <laughs> Hi. Hi! I love you and I care about you. Oh, my heart! <laughs> wow, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, we should do that more often, I think. Being kind to someone can actually help you feel better in the end. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On Friday, SPB hosted a Beach Shazam event. Students could head over to the lower cap and try to beat the phone app by naming the song before it could. Each member of the first place team got a $100 gift card. This Saturday, our QU men's ice hockey team was playing the University of Maine, but the student section was not in their usual game day gold. Quinnipiac hosted their very own Paint Hamden Pink event, and the whole crowd was encouraged to go all out. The event was to raise awareness for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. When we come back, Jacob Resnick joins us live with these, this week's weird news. And we'll be challenged to see how well we really know pop culture. We'll be right back. in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. There are amazing things to discover in the forest. Toothless, time to go! <laughs> what you picking up on, bud? It's a whole hidden world of wonders. And the perfect place to spend time with family. What better place to let your imagination soar? Experience nature and create a memory you can share. 
Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. Me and my boy Matt had it good. He had catnip that was off the hook. But one day, he brings a girl home, and she's allergic to cats. Every sneeze was a nail in my coffin. Now I'm in a shelter. It's decent, but they don't even have Wi-Fi. We are back, and Jacob Resnick is here to give us a rundown of this week's weirdest news. Take it away, Jacob. Thanks, guys, and sorry for not getting the sports jersey memo, but let's get to this week's weird news. There's been a lot of crazy stuff happening this week. Number one, government building in Atlanta was evacuated last Friday when a suspicious package emitting a beeping sound was discovered in a nearby trash can. Hundreds of employees were forced to stand outside the Department of Public Health building while authorities inspected the scene. Nearly two hours later, the all-clear was given when a woman admitted to disposing of a store security tag that she had cut off a pair of shoes, which had been delivered to her earlier that day. The beeping tag prompted the deployment of a bomb squad robot and cost some 200 employees a morning's worth of work. Staying in Georgia, a pair of newborn identical twins were delivered safely last week by none other than a pair of identical twin nurses. Addison and Emma Williams were born at Piedmont Athens Regional Medical Center thanks to the hard work of Tori Howard and sister Tara Drinkard. Said Howard, I was excited to go to a delivery with my sister, but it didn't really cross my mind. We're twins and they're twins. Despite being born almost a month early, the newborn girls are now safely resting at home. And from Georgia to Alaska, where an escaped goat on the run was finally tracked down and captured by police. The authorities in Fairbanks enlisted the help of the public after the goat was reported missing from its herd last Monday. The Alaska Department of Public Safety safely transported the animal into custody after it was found near a public road, quote, jumping into traffic and causing concerns. After its picture was shared on Facebook over 500 times, the goat has now been named Curry and is looking for a new home. And that's all I have. Back to you guys in the chair. Thanks, Jacob. You really didn't need to get that sports jersey on. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right, but coming up now, Q30's Maggie Smith and Chris Dacey tested their humor against one another. Let's see it. Hey, Hashtag, I'm Maggie, and I'm here with Chris Dacey in this sports-themed episode of Hashtag That. We're going to say some dad jokes yes. and see who laughs the most. Now, Chris, um, looking at the stats, I'd say that you're a pretty good uh, dad joke kind of guy. Some might say pro. Yeah, That's looking it. at my stats, not many people laugh at my jokes. <laughs> um, but you know, sometimes uh, players can overcome those stats. Yeah. yeah, so let's give it a go. I bought some shoes from a, uh, a drug dealer today. I don't know what he laced with it, laced them with, but I was tripping all day. Wow, mm. wow, I like that one. I Thank saw you. the in-depth, um, yeah. the drug went yeah. through the entire yeah. joke. I'm not laughing, but um, Just start off. I know, admire that one. Up a bit. My friend says to me what rhymes with orange, and I say, no, it doesn't. Get it? No. Because what doesn't rhyme with orange? Oh. Uh, see, <laughs> if you have to explain it. If, it's yeah, then it's just, look. uh... So, did you know that the first French fries weren't actually actually cooked in French, or France? They're cooked in Greece. Okay, that was kind of funny. Yeah. That was kind of funny. It was pretty funny. I worked in the food industry. Oh, so. You did? Dunkin' Donuts. Interesting, yeah, yeah. interesting. My husband told me I had to stop acting like a flamingo, so I had to put my foot down. <laughs> That's funny. So the Secret Service also isn't allowed to yell, get down anymore, and if it's anymore when the president is about to be attacked, they have to yell, Donald, duck. I feel personally offended by that joke. <laughs> um, okay. All right. I ate a clock yesterday. It was so time consuming. <laughs> uh, <okay>. uh. <laughs> How, do you, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? I don't know. 10 tickles. <laughs> that was funny, I laughed yeah. at that one. Oh, did you hear about the Italian chef that died? No. He passed away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes, that's how funny they are, yeah. <laughs> so did you hear the news about FedEx and UPS? They're merging, so now you have to call them fed up. <laughs> Why do blind people hate skydiving? It scares the hell out of their dogs. <laughs> uh. What does an angry pepper do? 
chili. Gets jalapeno in your face. <laughs> I don't know why I said chili. Chili. Oh, there, there's a chili pepper. Never mind. It is timely time for us sports guys to put our celebrity knowledge to the test. That's right, pictures of celebrities are gonna come up behind us on the screen here. We're playing Guess the Celebrity, and we're gonna have to figure it out who it is together, John Surratt, and honestly, I know nothing about these guys. Same, Connor. All right, so let's look at that first one. Oh, it's oh. a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm not um, really good with YouTubers, not gonna lie. Uh, wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Is it James Charles? I, I it might be. It might be. I don't I know. Honestly, no, I don't think James Charles has a long hair. That's true. Um, mm. Mm. Tattoos are not helping. Yeah, me at I know. Um, yeah, let's just let's, let's just, just move to the next one. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Star. Star. Okay. Kind of know the name, but all right, all right. Yeah, I had no idea who that was anyway. <laughs> Sweet Life of Zack and Cody character London Tipton is based off her. Oh. Paris so Hilton? I think that's who it is. Maybe. It might be Paris Hilton. Let's go! Hey, let's hey, go! Hey. Right there. I know it. Just Tyler a little bit. Darian. He is related leads. to Ariana Grande. Oh. So it has, so does it have the last? It year? might not. It might not. It might not. I don't know. All right. MTV. Yeah, I see that. Um, huh. I was going to say Pete Davidson, but that's not how no, that works. No, I don't think it's Pete Davidson. <laughs> that's... Uh, that's, that's, that's that's some old news. <laughs> Oof, Ooh, yeah. This is Frankie Grande. Oh, so it did have the Grande okay, in okay. it. All right, we all right. We could have got like a half point. Eh, yeah, we'll see. She Summertime. Summer. Is it Lana Del Rey? Ooh, Connor carrying? Let's hey, go. Let's go. go. I'm right here. Connor is carrying so far. Let's go. Here. Let's go. Too easy. Give me the next one. Is that it? That's I think that's it. But all right, well, that was fun and just a little bit embarrassing. What do you mean a little embarrassing? I got two of them, so... I think I did pretty well. I didn't well, know though. anyone yet, so you carry that game. Yeah, I think I did pretty well, but it's time for us to head to break. When we come back, Joe Lagrippo is with us for the Hollywood News Update. Don't go anywhere. Call me Maxi, but I prefer tripod. I was your above average four legged homie, and then wham, bam, minivan. Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. Hey, let's check out this park. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> to find a great local park or forest near you, go to discovertheforest.org. Joe Logrippo is here for a Hollywood news update. Joe, thanks for joining us. Take it away, Joe. Now, before we start, I just want to say, I know you, you guys have the sports team. Yep. This is for Tiger Woods, okay? okay. Oh, you know All right. All right. I, I get it. The Yankees lost, so you can't really show off the jersey. <laughs> so. So, hey, here so. come the sports biases. All right, let's start it off. I'm excited for these stories. Kanye West has set a new release date for his album called Jesus is King. After several previous release dates for the gospel-influenced album, it appears that he'll finally drop it this Friday, October 25th. Kanye will also be releasing a documentary that accompanies his new album, and that will be in IMAX theaters around the world. Jesus is King will feature 13 gospel songs arranged by West and performed by his Sunday service choir. Are you excited for the new album and what the doc and the documentary? What do you think it's gonna be like? I think I'm really excited about the album. Actually, I, you know, we've been hearing about it forever and ever, and it just kind of kept pushed back and yeah. back and back. And you know, I was actually actually really excited. So I hope it doesn't get pushed back again. Are you guys big Kanye fans? Uh, not necessarily. I'm more country, but like, 
Probably more like retro Kanye. My sweet mate, I, I Pat Flatley. Shout out Pat Flatley, everyone. Uh, he's a big Kanye fan, so he'll always have it playing in the room. So. I see you get a lot of his songs from Pat. Yeah, definitely, Pat. <laughs> yeah. Do you like them? Uh, some of them are pretty good. Yeah. I don't mind a couple of them. So. All right. Yeah. All right, moving on now. Uh, Todd Phillips' DC movie Joker is on its way to becoming the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time as it heads toward a potential of $900 million in global ticket sales. In just its third week, the Joker has brought in $737 million. It only needs to, pa it only needs to pass Deadpool's $783 million tally to become the highest ever. Who would have guessed that the Joker would have been such a box office juggernaut? There was always a chance it would do well, but it had a considerably low budget for what most superhero movies have. I don't know how many people saw the, saw the success coming, but if it all goes, it goes according to plan, Joker will be the highest grossing R-rated movie ever. Have you guys seen the movie? What do you think? I personally haven't seen it. I've only watched one ever Batman movie, uh, Dark Knight, right? Um, this so, guy. This guy. You've only seen one of them? Yeah, sorry. Man. Really? I because the Nolan's great, man. I've seen all three of those. I was actually really excited when hearing about the new Joker movie. Uh, I don't know if, it'll, if Joaquin Phoenix's performance will surpass Heath Ledger, but we'll see how it goes. You saw the movie? I have not. I want to see it really badly, okay. though. I just haven't had the time to all see right, it. We'll, we'll take a trip. We'll take a date to go watch the movie. We'll not take a date. We'll take a trip. But yeah, we'll go. We'll, go, <laughs> we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll see it. We'll see it. <laughs> all right. You all can right. include me, though, right? Yes, we will include Maybe. you. Maybe. All right. No, I say we include okay. Joe. Okay. We gotta okay. include Joe. Who would you say the best Batman ever was? Ooh, that's tough. This is all him. <laughs> He's got to carry again. Yeah. You yeah, I can't best decide. Joker if you want best to. Joker? It's gotta be Heath Ledger. Okay. I'll, but I'll, I'll tell you after we see the movie. All right, makes sense. Yeah. All right, moving on now. After six months, nearly 300 miles covered on foot, music star Mike Posner finished his incredible trek across America on Friday, basking the warm California sun and the brisk Pacific Ocean waters. The 31-year-old singer embarked on a massive journey all the way from New Jersey to California. Apart from the obvious challenges of walking across the country, he faced other obstacles as well, including getting bitten by a rattlesnake and having to be hospitalized. He was lifted to a nearby hospital where he was given anti-venom for the bite and effectively saving his life. However, through sheer determination, Posner continued on until he reached his goal and completed his wild adventure. You, th you guys think you could ever do a challenge like this? I mean, maybe. I don't, I don't see myself doing that, but like, I don't, why not? Give it a shot. Yeah, why not? I just do not think I could, honestly. <laughs> I just, I don't know how he did it, first of all. I just, I didn't even know he was doing it, but then I saw him like finish it, and that was insane. I didn't know he was going through that. Uh, just incredible journey from him. I remember he had a great song back in the day, which you were singing before. Yeah, you think you're cooler than me. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Great That's song. Famous for. Yeah. You know, I, sometimes it's hard for me to walk out my room to go get food. This guy's walking across. Yeah, I know. Room. Exactly. Yeah. That's the big thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, when we return, we will reveal which athletes are the best to look at. And we check out a festival in Glassbury, Connecticut. Stick with us on Q30 TV. They call me Prince like I'm royalty or something. But the places I've lived ain't no palaces. So I don't need grilled salmon or a new scratching post. Just give me a cardboard box and a can of tuna and we're good. You can even change my name. I'm cool being the kitty formerly known as Prince.
Associate producer Nina Kelly was at the annual Glassbury Festival. You know, John, it really seemed like a blast. So let's roll it. Hey, Ashtag. We are here at the <laughs> Glassbury Apple Harvest and Music Festival. We're going to ride some rides. Eat some food. We're yeah. going to see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Time for us to head out for night for the night. So make sure to tune in to tune in. To make sure to follow hashtag that at Q30 Entertainment on Facebook and Twitter. And check out our shows, Sports Pause and Biocat Breakdown. It's every Monday and Tuesday at 9:30 because you know we're producers of those shows and we love doing this. So definitely. So for everyone on the floor and in the control room, I'm John Surratt. And I'm Connor Althorn, and we'll see you next time on hashtag that. Good night, Bobcats.